today LG introduced the new G3. Here we are with the first smartphone ever with a Quad HD display, meaning four times uh, 720p or just said 2560 pixels by 1440. So we're coming to a new record of pixel density of 538 ppi. To compare it with the G2 that has 423 ppi and was quite sharp. But here, as you can see on that demo, even those very tiny and small details over here are displayed extremely sharp. And this is especially for multimedia fans because the display is now a little bit bigger with 5.5 instead of 5.2 inches. But that's not all. But before I'm coming to the other highlights of the new LG, I wanted to show you this picture over here because I prepared something, just a small picture uh, taken from outside here. Um, and uh, above we have the actual, um, or at the moment um, for quite some days, uh, the uh, record holder, that's the first HTC One or M7. This has the most, the highest pixel density at the moment. Uh, but now we have this one over here. And as you can see, oh, by the way, this video is shot in Full HD. Please watch in Full HD, it's especially if you want to compare those photos, let's say the tiny displays on the bridge over here or that crane on, on the right, so that you can see, all right, HTC One has a quite great sharp display, but you can see a little bit more details on the 3G. But on the other hand, you can see that the differences are minor. It's not that big advantage like the difference between, let's say, DVD and Blu-ray. So you can see, okay, it's a little bit better, but it's not like, uh, wow, um, this is something I've never seen before, you know. So now you know what it means uh, to have Quad HD. But there is a lot more, as I told you, on the uh, G3 I really like. First of all, you can now remove the uh, backside and especially the battery, as you can see. Again, we have a uh, 3000 milliampere hours like on the G2, but uh, before you just uh, thinking maybe the runtime goes low because we have that Quad HD display and bigger display, there is something different uh, as LG told us because first of all, they have a new um, display engine, imaging engine that's um, more smarter, more intelligent, needing um, less um, uh, energy, especially by um, empowering all those Quad HD pixels and subpixels. And on the battery, they changed something too, because the cathode of this battery is now of graphite instead of metal. And this shall enlarge the runtime of the battery. If this is true, I can't say, because we have to wait for the final product and do our runtime tests. Then we can see, but there is, let's say, hope that the 3G runtime will be even the, the in, in the range of the G2, maybe even a little bit longer. We will see because we have a little bit newer Snapdragon 801 instead of the 8000 in the G2, so maybe a little bit different. Let's see. But here's a third highlight. This is the micro SD slot up to 128 gigabyte. And these have been the two uh, problems with the G2. People said, oh, it's a great display, a great device, but I don't buy it because of these things built in battery and no um, expandable memory. Both have been changed and I really appreciate that uh, by LG that they reacted on that um, um, resources so, so quickly and changed that. Internal memory is 16 or 32 gigabyte. So there are two versions. And especially I uh, uh, imagined that or I realized that this display, and as you can see, this is the gold version. We have gold over here, so this is not um, um, pre-installed uh, backside, we have G standard uh, over here. So meaning that you have uh, wireless charging, just put it on your G uh, battery station and run it. But on the other hand, I found backsides like this one that don't have this uh, points over here. So I can't imagine that someone is buying these and to downgrade uh, so that they won't have uh, G um, 
support anymore. So I guess there will be two uh, versions of the device or maybe more saying with and without wireless charging. I can't tell at the moment because um, uh, we don't have any prices at the moment. So I can't say it might be that there is a um, kind of, okay, the small version with 16 gigabyte will have two gigabyte RAM and no um, uh, wireless charging and the big version with 32 gigabyte will have three gigabyte of uh, RAM and um, is supporting wireless charging for let's say 100 euros more. I do not know, we have to wait for this. But let's uh, stay on the back side for a little more because we have something new over here. First of all, uh, we have a two uh, uh, color flash we know from the Xperia um, 4s and the iPhone S4, no, sorry, S5, Galaxy S5 and the iPhone 4s. Oh, it's complicated. Okay, here we go with the G3. Um, meaning that you do have uh, not that uh, extremely white flashes anymore, but now uh, it's getting a little bit more closer to the temperature, light temperature of the surrounding, uh, creating more smooth um, flash colors, especially if you are flashing people and faces. Videos are now shot in 4K, that was uh, Full HD on the G2, so meaning four times Full HD. Uh, photos are um, shot again in 13 megapixels and we again have that optical image stabilizer that I left from the G2. And here we go, this is the laser sensor, meaning the autofocus of the camera is supported by a little laser light. You can't see this, but this is especially if you think of uh, um, situations in low light and the autofocus has no contrast to, to, to get sharp onto. So the laser is happy out and first it's better than a LED because first you do not have that red eye effect and it's way more quicker. So together this combination LG is telling us is needing less than 1.3 uh, seconds or some 250, 260 milliseconds roundabout to have that focus um, uh, sharpening. And by the way, knock on, of course, we have here, I just wanted to um, show you how this is working. Let's say, I do not know if this was uh, 1.3 um, seconds, but it's, it's, it's close, it's, it's quick. Let's take something different. And here again, you can see that the, these indicators uh, tell you where they found something where they think this is sharp. Let's change the image again over here. So it's quick. I can't say if it's 1.3 milliseconds, seconds, but it's quick, okay? And if we are, by the way, in the camera, um, just let me have a quick view for you into the settings over here because I find this is a great idea to have photo settings and video settings in the same uh, overview so that you do not have to switch between video or photo mode or whatever. So you're seeing in those uh, details, LG has done something, something um, too, of course. Okay, this was the back side. Of course, we have these different colors. You see the gold one, but we have black and white and violet and red and whatever. And as I especially love that metallic effect. I hope you can see this in this video over here because it's not just um, printed, it's really a little bit uh, rough as you can hear, I hope. All right, so you have a good grip, your finger has a good grip and especially it's matte and so you do not have your fingerprints like on uh, devices with a glossy surface, especially if you think of glass and black background or something where you see every fingerprint after a second. So this is a little bit um, more um, um, intelligent, <laughs> let me say, that you uh, keep your backside a little bit more clear. Okay, um, as I told you, um, Snapdragon 801 and now LTE Cut 4, meaning you have up to 150 megabit per second instead of 100 on the uh, G2. And we have got uh, Wi-Fi AC, uh, the other uh, standards like uh, N and 4 gigahertz and NFC, Bluetooth 4.0 has had the G2 already. Well, I hope this is enough for a first impression of the LG G3. If you liked my video, please think of to subscribe to my channel and to recommend it. I say thanks in advance and take care.